Welcome to episode number two of Know Your Tool, guys. Today, we're gonna look at the clone stamp tool, which is the one halfway down here on the side for me. There it is, the clone stamp. Now, just to explain it, the clone stamp is basically taking a photo from one section and putting it somewhere else. That's all it really is doing. And uh, you can actually use it to do some really cool stuff. You can duplicate things easily, and you can also make things look like they were never there. So we'll show you how to do both in this tutorial. Now, the thing that you wanna look at while you're editing with the clone stamp is up here in the corner, you've got the 95 there. Uh, that's your size. That represents the size of the circle you're taking that photo with. And you've got the hardness, which is basically around the outside of that circle, how smooth is the transition. So 100% being a solid circle, as you can see up here and right down to 0% being a really, really soft transition. So let's just put it somewhere in the middle for now. Let's put it at about 34. And I'm gonna select 97 just to see where we start off with. So to use the clone tool, the very first thing you need to do is hold down the option key and you can see these crosshairs come up. Now, if I was to put it on that, on that man there, and move it around. You can see that we've now taken that photo of the man and for us to do anything with that, it's probably a little bit too small. So let's make it up, let's make it up to about 180. It's important to know that with all these tools, the more you use it, the better you get it at kind of learning what numbers are gonna work better and what situations. But the best thing to do is just to get in, have a go and do something like I'm doing here today. Now we can see here that the 175 is a bit small. So let's bring it right on up to maybe 300. Now you can see we're getting closer. Even if I go to 500, there you go, you can see the man there now. And if I actually just click anywhere on the image, I'll put it somewhere like here, I can paste that. And that's how easy it is to duplicate. You just select it and you can just paste it over somewhere else. Now to erase, it's a little bit trickier. So I'll delete that man and let's start again. I'm just gonna zoom in on it here so we can get in nice and close. It's important when you're erasing that you really go for the details. Okay, so we've got 508. We don't need that much anymore because we're not duplicating a whole thing. We're actually gonna duplicate lots of little sections to try and look, make it look like that man's not there anymore. So if I bring that right back to about 90 again where we started, that looks like a good amount there. You can see that it's kind of making good coverage of his body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold Option again. I'm gonna take a selection from the left side, drag it over to the man, and it's copying exactly what is in that same section. As I move down, you can see there's a plus sign next to it. That's where it's taking the stamp from. So I'll, I'll take that again. Now I've got a line that you can see here and a line that you can see here. And it's really important with things like that, that we keep those lines nice and consistent. So I'm gonna go back to the clone stamp and take a new photo, there it is, and go across there and make that line. And with the next one, I'm gonna actually take it from this side over here and come back this way. So I'm just lining that line up all the way along. And you can see we've half got rid of him already. Let's come down. I think that it should be pretty easy because of all these squiggly lines. I'm gonna take the photo from over here and I'll paste it straight in like that. It blends in nicely because the hardness, I'll just show you, if I had the hardness right up, it makes a really hard circle. You can see where that line is pretty easily. And if I was going too soft, it would actually take, it, it kind of doesn't really get rid of anything. So you want to find that sweet spot right in the middle there. 35 is a really good place to start. So I'll get right on there like that. And there we go. And coming back up here, we've got a little bit of his head still. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take the photo from up here, holding down option of the sky and just bring it down, blend it in. I might even go even a little bit more detailed bring the size down to about 40, so it's about half that. It's gonna get a little bit more of the sky, put it there. It looks like the clouds are kind of fading that mountain out where the man actually was. So now if I zoom back out, that man you can see is completely gone and you never would think he was actually there. Uh, we left the shadow, kind of gives it a bit of an artsy look, I guess. So yeah, I hope that was useful to you guys using the clone stamp to duplicate and to delete literally anything you want in a picture. It's just about how fine you want to get into those details. This is a part of a playlist called Know Your Tools, so make sure you check out the rest of them, learn how to use every tool in the toolbar, and if it's useful and you're liking it, make sure you subscribe, guys. Thanks heaps.